Sir Winston Churchill presents Ear Training. So, this course is not about music. It is a course that helps you do musical things well and train your ears to be able to do so. So get your music hats ready, get in the mood, because we're about to train those ears with this week's topic of the fundamentals of meter and rhythm. Duration in music can be understood in terms of its two primary components, meter and rhythm. We will seek ways to measure the lengths of notes and to write down symbols for those lengths. <clears throat> meter and rhythm do not measure time. They measure the way notes relate to one another in terms of their length. This is an important point. Meter and rhythm are relative elements. Their qualities and quantities are determined internally by comparisons with a piece of music rather than externally by a device such as a metronome or wristwatch, which need only be consulted in order to determine tempo. Characteristics of meter and rhythm and of their corollaries, such as pulse, beats, and measures, are determined through listening directly to the music itself. Here we'll develop a crude but effective method of writing down meter and rhythm. We'll refer to this type of notation as proto-notation, since it is not a true, fully-fledged form of music notation. You're probably already familiar with traditional meter and rhythm notation, but postponing the use of this notation allows us to develop skills in hearing and reading meter and rhythm without worrying about what kind of note gets the beat and other notational complications. Pulse. Sing the folk tune, Twinkle Twinkle Little Star. While you sing, clap steadily along with the music. You'll most likely clap one of the two following patterns. Either you will clap Twinkle, twinkle, little star, how I wonder what you are. Or you would clap, twinkle, twinkle, little star, how I wonder what you are. Both patterns represent a regularly recurring feeling of stress in the music, which is known as a pulse. Know that the pulse can occur at different levels in one piece of music, like the two levels shown in the example. Also note that each pulse occurs at a point in time. It has no duration or length. Primary and secondary pulses, meter. In order to feel the relationship between these two levels of pulse, do this. Sing the tune and tap one pulse with your right hand while tapping the other with your left. Twinkle, twinkle, little star, how I wonder what you are. In the left side coincides with every other pulse in the right side. You should feel more stress where the pulses coincide than on the individual pulses between them. Each of these stronger points of stress is called a primary pulse. Each of the weaker points of stress between the primary pulses is called a secondary pulse. Now, let's hear it where the primary pulse is stronger than the secondary pulse. Twinkle, twinkle, little star, how I wonder what you are. When music exhibits patterns of primary and secondary pulses, the music is said to have meter beat and measure. Since the duration between successive pulses are constant, we may use them as units of measurement. The duration between two successive pulses is, in this case, called one beat. Although sometimes people will use the terms beat and pulse interchangeably, we will distinguish between the points where stresses occur, which are pulses, and the duration between them, beats. In thinking of the differences between pulses and beats, remember that pulses have no duration, but beats do. 
The duration between successive primary pulses is also an important unit of measurement. It is called one measure, duple meter. In Twinkle Twinkle Little Star, we can hear and see that the pulses are grouped in pairs. Each primary pulse is followed by one secondary pulse. Each measure contains two beats, creating the condition known as duple meter. Rhythm. Music involves notes of various durations that occur against the steady background of the pulse. The word that describes the durations of notes is rhythm. Let's figure out the rhythms of the beginning of Twinkle Twinkle Little Star. If you tap the pulse and sing the music, you'll notice that each of the first syllables through little is one beat long. Twinkle, twinkle, little. The following syllable, star, lasts twice as long as the other two beats. Little star. We can continue this process and write out the rhythms for the beginning of Twinkle Twinkle Little Star by drawing one horizontal line for each note. In the drawing, the horizontal rhythm lines begin and end just short of the vertical pulse lines. But this does not mean these notes are shorter than one or two full beats. The breaks merely provide clarity so all of the rhythm lines don't run together in one big, long, horizontal line. The double vertical lines at the end, known as a double bar line, indicate when the music stops. Conducting in duple meter. An important technique that musicians use to indicate meter is conducting. Conducting will take the place of our clapping and tapping for now on. When conducting duple meter with the right arm, the right hand follows this path. Your hand should trace a backwards J in the air. It may help, at first, to say the words down and up at each pulse. You should develop a feeling of pulse directly in your conducting. The point at which a pulse occurs within the beat of a conducting pattern should feel like a snap or bounce in your hand, wrist, or forearm. This point is called the ictus. Conduct while singing Twinkle Twinkle Little Star. Your hand should move down at each primary pulse and back up at each secondary pulse. Because the conducting pattern moves down for the first beat in each measure, that beat is called a downbeat. Similarly, because of the upward motion, the last beat in each measure is called an upbeat. Triple meter. In duple meter, there are two beats per measure. In triple meter, the pulses are grouped in threes. Each primary pulse is followed by two secondary pulses. The figure here shows the beginning of the folk tune Pop Goes the Weasel, with two adjacent levels of pulse, a faster level below and a slower one. Notice how the faster pulse groups into three to form the slower pulse. So that's where we get all around the mulberry bush, the monkey chased the weasel. Or all around the mulberry bush, the monkey chased the weasel. As in duple meter, Primary pulses occur where the two levels coincide, and all the others are secondary. The figure here shows the first phrase with large and small vertical lines indicating primary and secondary pulses respectively, and horizontal lines indicating the rhythm. Conducting in triple meter. The conducting for triple meter looks like this. The downbeat is followed by the second beat which moves out and to the right from the body, and then this is followed by an upbeat. It may help at first to say the words down, out, up for each beat. Sing Pop Goes the Weasel while conducting in triple meter. All around the mulberry bush the monkey chased 
the weasel. Reading from Pronotation. We'll use the term pronotation to refer to the system of vertical and horizontal lines we've been using to represent meter and rhythm. So far, we've used this system to write down what we hear. We can also read from pronotation, conducting the meter and vocalizing the rhythm represented in this pronotation. Since this pronotation doesn't represent pitch, we should speak or intone rhythms on a neutral syllable such as do or ta on a single pitch. Conduct and intone only the rhythms of twinkle twinkle little star. Don't forget to conduct. Ta 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 Before you proceed, be certain that you can perform from pronotation by conducting the meter and intoning the rhythms on a neutral syllable. And with that, we are finished our first two weeks. And there are some questions to go along with it. First, you have a few exercise questions that not all of them will require you to hand something in. They're more things to try. So that's the first thing that you will do is go through your exercise questions. Then we'll have some listening questions where you will listen to different recordings and answer questions about them. Those recordings will come directly after my voice over here. You can pause them, rewind them, listen to them as many times as possible. For the first five, you're going to listen to them and dis distinguish and write down their level of two pulses, determine whether they're in duple or triple, and conduct with them. The second one is you're just going to write out the vertical pulse lines and horizontal rhythm lines for each. Finally, there are a few exercises for you to try under the reading and sight reading section. In this one, they want you to look at the vertical pulse lines and horizontal rhythm lines and just practice singing or speaking them on a neutral syllable like ta or do. So for the first one, for example, they would want you to do something like this. Do, 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 do. So when you're finished those, please hand those in. And in two weeks time, we will have another ear training assignment. Until then, ciao for now.